What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, balance patch notes are here. Okay, they just came out one minute ago, literally. Okay, I've been just waiting. Let's not get our expectations too high. Okay. As always. And let's see what they what Contos prepared. I predicted no nerfs pretty much and just Yeah, buffs. Most likely the first couple lines are going to be uh JJK stuff, but I could be wrong, right? Let's see. Let's see. Here's the walkthrough of the balance patch, blah blah blah, paying close attention. Dude, I need to I need to save this image. Can, can I? It's it's so it's fine. You guys can see it. Can you? Can can you? Wait, let me see. Let me try to make this better. Okay. Let me try to make this a little bit a little bit better for you. Okay, there we go. That's better, right? Just full screen that shit. Okay. 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 Satoru Go. I was right! I was right! Satoru Gojo, Water Wind Light, Curse Technique, Decrease Attack Bar 15%. Oh yeah, that's... Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's that's it. It's gonna be 50% or 40. Is it 50 or 40? Wait, wait, wait. What is it? What is it? 50 or 40? It's 50. Okay. They did it. They did it. They actually did it. Okay, 15%. So they didn't go 20. They didn't go 10. They went 15. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, yeah, that's that's what I asked for, right? That's exactly what I asked for. And they, and they did it. I mean, the correct buff. The correct buff. That's it. And the, which makes the Water Gojo usable now. It makes Wind Gojo better. And more usable and of course the light one yeah it just makes all of them better and and i'm kind of surprised they didn't start with with the units being like that but yeah that's a w okay that's that's insta it's pretty rare to see a balance patch where it's a insta w right next one sadru gojo fire dark are they listening to me second skill now is two turn cooldown what? Are they just listening to me? That's the second skill. I said one down cooldown. Hey! Wait, are they watching the videos? Come to us? Are you guys... Are you guys listening? Are you guys starting to listen after 10 years? Wait, that's... That's that's another W, which I said. Huh? Megami Fire. What? Removes beneficial bank 30 to 100. That's literally what I said. Are you guys seeing this? I lit. No, no, no. You, you. Okay, people will say I made this patch. Hello? They literally did what I said. Again. Three for three, what I said. What? Nah. There's, there's literally no way this, this just happened. Three for three, exactly what I predicted. What the fuck? That is fucking insane. And this is such a crazy buff. Such a crazy buff. Holy. There's no way they go four for four. No but our water. Grants continues with a hundred. Did I say that? I don't even remember what I said. I think maybe I did mention it. Dude, if that's 4 for 4, like, I don't remember if I said this in the in the prediction video. Because I might have. I actually might have. <laughs> Bro, there's no way they went 4 for 4, pretty much. What the fuck? Nah, th nah this is probably the only time in history ever of this game and the balance patches that Contos literally opened up with a full juicer and with a full like what I said 
There is literally no way this is happening. Indra, Indra's getting buff. No. Did they buff light Indra? Please. Water Indra. Decrease damage you take from provoked enemies. Increase your attack by by 50% if you get attacked during the enemy's turn. That's really good. That's really good. Okay. Indra, fire, wind, light. Branding is now, I think, 100% with this. Okay, so light does get a buff. Branding is, I think, 100%, potentially. Okay, so no more Indras. A slight Indra buff. I mean, I'll take it. It's not going to make me use the light one. It's not going to make fire and wind usable, probably. I mean, wind kind of got used a bit, but I don't think this is going to help them. Because uh, branding wasn't such a huge deal about uh, this unit, but... Yeah, it's, it's a buff. The water one got buffed way more. Fire Geralt. If the enemy has the inability effect after... If the enemy has the inability effect, decrease the cooldown of... Oi. Oi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you just spam this forever? Because you will stun the whole team pretty much. So that's four... No. Is that how it's going to work? That's insane. If that's how it's going to work, that's actually insane. Right? That's the third skill, right? This, this skill that stuns, it's a very good stun, actually. No, that's that's insane, I think, maybe. Because, like, if it counts by unit, and then you can get that many decrease, like, that's, that's absolutely insane. That's a crazy buff. Holy shit. Wind Dark. Oi, 20%. I know Apsa is going to be happy about this one. 20% increase on the bomb. That's pretty nice. Light, Geralt. Damage you take decrease up to 15% based on your adrenaline score. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to help him much. I'm not really sure. I mean, it could be decent. Could be decent. Siri light after the attack increase your attack speed okay this is what we said make her stack easier right and they did that now it's two times easier to stack it so you only need five attacks but i still wish it wasn't based on your attacks you know but dude the patch for now is looking hello what is calm to his dude it's looking why is it looking good I'm, dude, I wasn't expecting much, I'll be completely honest, but maybe that's the whole point, to just lower the expectations and they deliver, huh? Light Yennefer, Light Yennefer. If the enemy removes hard effect, or an ally's beneficial effects. If the enemy removes harmful effect, or an ally beneficial effect, removes the one harmful effect from the ally with the highest attack bar. Yeah, that's literally mid. Like, we were always talking about this unit being the mini Haygag, and now they're making it also cleanse, which is what she didn't have. But it's only gonna cleanse one unit. Like, even if you mo if this happens multiple times, it's still always gonna cleanse one unit, because that's the unit with the highest attack bar. Weird. It's a buff. Weird. Vampire. Vampire. Are they gonna touch on Julian? Water wind dark. Dark. Two times dark. Attacks. Wait, is it. Attacks one time. Now it's two times. Okay, that's the second skill. Because the enemy's attack power and decrease the enemy's attack speed for two turns with a 75, now to 50. So they nerfed. Uh, they nerfed the 75 to a 50 because it's two hits now. I think those this goes up to, with skill ups, right? I'm pretty sure this goes to 100. I could be wrong, but yeah. Total damage unchanged. Okay. I mean, it's it's a buff. It's a buff. Harmon, Harmon, light. 
Because the attack power of the enemy target whose beneficial effect has been successfully removed by 10%. It doesn't even counter Hay Gang. It's 10%. I mean, it wouldn't counter Hay Gang anyways. It would have to be like 100%. Hey, guy, is this a mistake? Is this 100%? Is this a hundred percent and it's missing a zero? <laughs> Guys, is this a hundred percent but it's a, it's missing a zero? Can we can we check that with come to us? Ten percent? That literally does nothing. <laughs> Dude, I thought I thought Celia was actually getting a buff, especially on her passive. Man, holy shit! This patch is a roller coaster such good things and then my ld that i've been asking about my whole life to get buffed and then it's the most useless buff in the history 10 percent what the fuck does that even mean that doesn't even do anything and then you can't even do it after they have no more will runes you know it's like it's literally a one turn thing You know, because like most of the time there will not be any more debuffs in the match or buffs in the match for her to even strip. So her passive, the problem with her passive is that it doesn't come to play. 90% of the match, 95, it doesn't even come to play because it's based on if the enemy has buffs. So it literally does nothing the whole game, you know? And it gets heavy countered by Hay Gang, so this is just a meme. But dude, this is like they added. If they, I feel like if they added eight percent damage more to skill one, it would be a better buff because her skill one is her best skill. Like her skill one hits hard, and it has a chance to sleep and push back, right? It's like if they improved the damage on skill one, that would have been just way better in my opinion. But maybe another buff? No. Fair King Dark. Fair King Dark. Increase attack power of all eyes by 10%. If allies are not granted with harm effect. What? What? This is literally just ragdoll. This is just some ragdoll shit now. Nah, this is broken. Nyx is top 5 units in the game. This is broken. The whole team gets attack bar? That's always gonna happen. Every single time someone uses a AoE or a multi-hit, this is gonna happen that has like debuffs. Okay, Nyx is ragdoll level. Nice. Beastmunk Dark leaves branding for one turn, now it's two turns. Beastmunk Wind provokes the enemy with 50, now it's 80. Okay, Beast Monk's getting buff. Desert Queen Fire. Decrease tech bar 15%. Buffing segment. That is unheard of. Holy. <clears throat> That's actually really cool. Mage Wind. Decrease max skill cooldown if the damage increase up to 200%. Okay. Dragon Fire. If the enemies. Attack power is half or left in the attack power. The attack will always land as a crit. Okay. So Marina buff. The Emperor all. Power surge. Increase damage by 50% if there's no harmful effects to transfer. Okay, that's a skill one. Okay. Bike wind. Gets a damage boost. Okay. Hacker wind. Damage increase 10%. Now it's 20% for every harmful effect granted. Druid wind. Max skill cooldown of passive is 7 turns now, which is much lower with skill ups. Effect change. At the moment of that, decrease the cooldown of Force of Living by 2 turns. Now it's decrease the cooldown Force of Living by 1 turn if you're attacked by an enemy who has a lower defense than you. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna happen a lot, but I still don't think people will use this guy, probably. Droid Beast form, max cooldown, Chimera Fire, counterattacks the target with 40, now it's 50. 
Okay, buffing Rakan. Potentially Rakan better on defense now. Joker Light stalls the bomb for two turns with a 25 to 35. Okay. Okay. Giant Warrior Dark. Increase the damage of Atlas Stone by 50% whenever an ally or enemy dies up to 30%. Interesting. Where's Fire After? Grand Oblivion Grand Seal for one turn. Really? They're putting Seal in skills now. That's the first time ever, right? I'm pretty sure. Asura Wind Dark attacks all enemies 2 to 4, now it's 2 to 3. What? They nerfed Asuras? <laughs> Are they really nerfing Dark Asura because of Siege? <laughs> what? Oh, and they're buffing Wind 1. Absorbs attack part by 10, now it's 20. They're, they're actually nerfing Vritra. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, come to us, take Siege the most seriously. Like, I feel like we get way more siege nerfs than any other nerfs. Like, I swear. It's so funny. Chun Li Windark. Decrease attack bar from 40, now it's 50. Barbaric King, Water Wind Light. While in Berserk State, additional decrease the enemy's attack bar by 50%. On Wrathful Attack, that's the second skill, right? Okay. Uh, like, for now, this balance patch is, like, I have to say, really good. Surprisingly. I think they started really well. I think they touched on some, uh, some, uh, AC as well. I was very happy to see the Hard Magician, you know, but <clears throat> disappointed, of course. I mean, I'm sure all the, all the Celia users are going to be disappointed by this because it's a pretty weak buff. But I think the Nyx users are going to be celebrating. This is pretty fucking insane. It brings him to like a super, super high level of an LD5. I mean, I think this is just uh, something no one expected to see on Nyx. Uh, when it comes to the LD buffs, you know? It's, it's kind of funny. They actually touched on... Man, I, I wish it wasn't this bad though, you know, but I'm still glad they 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 touched on it. I really wish they increased the skill one damage. You know, instead of this. If they if they were to do like a small buff on her. But yeah, it's it's gonna be pretty pretty small. It's not gonna change anything about her. But overall, yeah, I mean here it kinda died down a little bit, you know, after the Fairy King. Some okay stuff, you know, the segment one is pretty good in my opinion. Because uh, like if you miss you can still push back, you know, you're adding more things that you can do to the enemy. Which is always good, right? To, to help with the resistance stuff, to help with the inconsistency. Uh, Dragon was kind of cool. Sea Emperor is just okay stuff. Bike was a good buff. Um, maybe, you know, it's a 10% increase here. It's it's not a huge, huge deal, but it's pretty okay, I think, still. But I think the first half was just super crazy. Like, dude, I, they blew my mind with the, with the fucking JJKs. Because this is literally full prediction. I swear to God, like, they blew my mind. Now, let's see if there's any other stuff. Skill errors fixed. Skill descriptions fixed. Really? And last time we had no awakening or leader skill changes. This time we have no awakening or leader skill changes. Bro, that's a big L. That's a big L. That's a huge L. Like, those are one of the most important changes that we get in a patch, you know? So, 
you know, I don't, I don't like when they when they leave them out. Like those are super super important. Now was the patch good? I'd say I'd say it was good. I'd say in general it was good. Like I I can't like I literally can't be mad at all about this patch when I see like how they started and how they literally hit exactly what I said they would. And then there were some other cool changes, you know. We will, you're definitely going to see me using the Geralt, I think. The fire one. And the, the Gojo's, definitely. I have the water one. I would love to have Megumi. I don't have him, sadly. I really wanted him. He was my most wanted collab unit. Because I knew he was going to become meta. And here they are, just making him meta. Now he's going to cut, stun you immediately. It's going to be hella annoying. It's going to be like a free-to-play bird guild, kind of, in a way. Good luck fighting him. He, he's just meta. He's meta now. Like, he, he's going to be the new meta speed lead. Probably one of the most picked speed leads in the game. Yeah, that's what I think about the patch. I, I am, I am, I'm pleasantly surprised. Okay, pleasantly surprised. I really wish Celia buff meant something. Ah, oh, man, it would have actually made... It would have actually made my whole fucking year until the end of the year. I swear to God. If this was actually something huge. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the patch. Not a bad job, Contuous. Not a bad job. I, uh, dude, this makes me think they're maybe watching the videos. Okay? I appreciate it. But yeah, that's it. Stay safe. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.